here we have a typical sample of a fault rock. It is very narrow, but when we have such broad and wide cataclysite zones or fault zones, then we cannot um, sample the whole zone. So we have to sample smaller faults that are associated with the main fault in order to um, find out something about the deformation processes uh, of the rock. So we can take um, microstructure, we take thin sections of such material, and then we can study the processes at the, at the microscopic scale uh, using light microscopes, electron microscopes, and we can look at, for example, processes such as um, solution reprecipitation or crystal plastic deformation of individual fragments or the fragment or the breaking up of fragments, the displacement of fragments and so on, which we have a hard time to trace okay, accurately in the field. It is necessary if we do this kind of analysis that we are able so to this? rotate or reorient our samples back to the kinematic, that is, to the displacement field in, um, in the field. And so for that reason, we take oriented samples. In other words, we measure with our compass where this, uh, in which orientation this sample used to be oriented in the field. Then we rotate it back. Once we have identified specific orientations in thin section to find out something about the overall movement sense and the mechanisms of deformation that occur in these rocks.